All right, so I posted a picture up of this mess last night. Um, didn't really say much about it, but figured I'd show a little bit. So anyway, there's just a little Adreno controller here. And what's going on is I'm going to have it run these little relays that I have right here. You can hear it click. You know, it shows them right here. I don't know if it'll zoom in or not, but... Anyway, you can see they're rated at 12 amp, 125 volt, which would be more than enough to drive a little power head like you see, like this one in here in the uh, quarantine tank, the hippo tank, a little damsel in there. But anyway, so the way this is going to work is I have two potentiometers. Um, these are just temporary ones I found. I'm going to put it in a nice little box and make it, you know, look decent. Um, this one right here is currently controlling the time that the pump would be on and this one is controlling the time the pump would be off and as you can hear from the click it wouldn't be very long which is something I'm just using for testing but something I wouldn't use in the actual aquarium um, this right here this little multimeter is actually it's clicking too fast for it to read but it's measuring the milliamperage used for this little transistor right here to complete uh, a 12 volt circuit in between the coils of the relay this battery this battery bank I have over here to you know well the Arduino can only put out 5 volt so with it only putting out 5 volt I need 12 volt to trigger the relay so I'm using a 5 volt signal from the Arduino to trigger the transistor and the transistor pretty much completes a 12 volt circuit and hits the relay and the way this multimeter over here is hooked up is just a continuity so if I flip it over like this uh, give me a second so if I flip it over like that it measures in between this little guy and this guy right here um, this one is normally open the other side is normally closed which is your normal you know relay um, I'll eventually end up using two relays and I'll have four potentiometers so one pump per side and so if I turn this on this way you can hear it beep. it's gonna go it's gonna start beeping and at the time you hear it beep is the time the pump would be on and when it's not beeping you know that's the pump would be off so let's see what it does so it gives you more of a you can hear it a little bit better so by doing that and the way I have this coded uh, you can see there's actually quite simple you have a little program over here you just send the code to the Arduino and do whatever you tell it to but uh, so this one is on time and this one is off time so, so you can hear it beeps really short but if I turn this this one up a little bit it's kind of moving here because I can't really grab it if I turn it up a little bit, you hear it stays on longer, and it's off longer. So the pump will be on and off. Well, let's say I only want it to stay on just for that short little burst, but then stay off for quite a while. Well, I can turn the other one up as well. So it'll go on and off. On, off. So by doing this, I can I'm pretty much making my own um, reef surge controller, I guess you could say I call it. Or was I think JBGA sells a little a pump like this, but it only oscillates back and forth on set time. But by doing this, I can actually oscillate back and forth, oscillate back and forth from each pump, but then also vary the time that each pump is on and off. So. I can keep one pump on, say, for 10 seconds, and the other pump on for 20 seconds, and keep them both off for 30 seconds to a minute. And then, if I ever want to change it, all I gotta do is just change the code in the Arduino. I think I'm also going to change it to where I can use this to control my main return pump, so I can set it to like a feed feed time, so I can hit like one button, and it'll turn every pump off in the aquarium that has anything to do with circulation in the main, in the display tank. 
and that will let me you know feed the tank without it being sucked down the overflow there's a lot of things I could do I'm also thinking about you know pH controllers and LCD displays and all kinds of weird stuff but for right now my main goal is just the powerhead control and main return pump control